big boys tell us. Big Daddy, Stella, 3000. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to take two. Mm, my personal favorites are. Uh, yeah, we'll do the Shimano's TLD 52 speeds. I like those. So, reason we break them up, right? We do regular big mahi lures, skirts on a balahu, full rig balahu on this guy, and then we run these squid baits on spinners. And honestly, that's kind of like the new way to do it. The new way to do it is spinners. You can stand up, fight them, hit them, keep that hook in their mouth the whole time, give them that power. When the conventional reels, super cool, you gotta keep it on the gunnel and just give it all shoulder. I get it. I am, I'm, I'm kind of like a bold school guy. I'm old enough where I like the conventional, but I'm young enough where I like that stand-up spinner. I'm not gonna lie, I like stand-up spinner. This? You know what I go. Big supporter, South Florida Fishing Channel. Thank you, brother. It makes some badass stuff, not gonna lie. Then, we come on over here. Because we take everything to the extreme. Hence the name. I like fun, whatever. So, we got all the lures here. We're not gonna do deep dropping. Now, we'll take these just in case. It's always good when you're going out for dolphin, take artificial. Dude, you honestly never know when they're just gonna bite out of excitement. And uh, these have nothing to do with the excitement part, but this is, honestly, this right here, I've caught more dolphin on lures like this when they don't wanna bite, just out of excitement. It's, a, it's an excitement strike. Not even because they're hungry, it's just they're excited, they see something moving, and they don't want their friend to get it, so they bite first. So, thanks to the story, never bite first. So, that's it, that's all I got for you. The next morning. What's going on? What's going on? All right, heading out right now, setting up this lure. So, getting the skirt, a bunch of different colors, everybody has their own preference. So, I'm gonna try this bait strip. Never used it before. But I've heard a lot of good things about it, so we're going to give it a whirl, see what happens. We're heading out. Uh, we were going to stop and get some live pilchards, but we're just going to go out and hit it artificial, and we got a couple of too, so we'll see what happens. A little windy, but kind of hoping for some great success. We'll keep you guys posted along for the ride. Sharp 
I'll get him now. Oh, move Dolphin! Dolphin, Dolphin! Oh, right here, right here! Right here. They're, all, they're all jumping right here. See him? Right there, jumping! Yup, yup, yup! Yeah, but still. Yeah, but see, this rod's not getting straight behind us. We're not even going to. Is that what? Not getting behind us. Come on, come on. Yeah. Run, 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 run. Fish on, fish on. Pick up the other rod, Marco. Huh? No, Marco, don't worry about it. 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 I'll pull it off. Woo! Let's go, Ray. Bring him in. Bring him in. Bring him in. Woo! I'm going to try to get Bring him in. Bring him in. Let's get ready with that pitch. Yeah, yeah. The pitch. Let's go, Extreme Outdoors! How do you figure this one? It's on, it's on. Oh. I see color. Ooh, it is rocking. Dolphin. Dolphin. Yep, yep, yep. Go for it, go for it, go for it. Woo! 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 Holy shit, I am smart. Stop it! Yes, sir! Let's get it! Finally, the keeper. Heck yeah! Show him the camera. Bye, he's a keeper. Woo! Look at that. Beautiful. All right, got him on this uh, blue skirt with Rick Ballard. Let's get him in the cooler and set. What's going on? What's going on? All right, so went out there today. Kind of got our butts handed to us. Um, it was like four to six foot waves, but still went out there. Went out to 600 feet, bought a bunch of birds, hooked on a good dolphin, got him in the boat. We got hit on another. Little small skirt, little squid bait, um, but never set the hook, so that was quick. Um, like I said, I think we were out there about four and a half hours. It was rough, rough, but we did it. We got one on the boat. Um, so now, time to get back, hang out, and get in Memorial Weekend mode. Let's get it. All right, guys, so as you guys know already from the video, we went dolphin fishing this morning, came back, we shot our bows, it's completely terrible out there. So we're going to cook the mahi that we caught today. So we got our breading, pack of breadcrumbs, four eggs. I sometimes mix it up, so I'm going to do lace flaming hot chips now how I do it 
So I'll kind of come here and then crush everything up. And then I'll mix it with that breading to give it more flavor. To kind of get it to where it's a powder. ahead and we pour it in there there we go let it really mix up good all right get that all mixed up then Pork. I'll mix up these eggs. Then also, we will put some milk in there. To me, it kind of helps the breading stick to the fish but again some people don't like the milk they say you shouldn't add the milk I add the milk so all right so now what we're gonna do we'll there. get this mahi and now I'll kind of cut it. That's Paul Jr. right there talking about going fishing tomorrow. So let's see what happens. Hopefully this weather lays down and we can bring you guys some more video. Because it has been a rough one. Again, everybody has their own way that they like to cut up their dolphin. I kind of cut them up in decent sized strips. Some people don't like the strips that big. So I kind of, I'll kind of cut these strips in half, long ways, you know. Kind of cut these strips in half the long ways and then make little fingers. Wait till you guys see this video. It was so rough out there. And I don't get seasick for anything and I didn't get seasick. But it was it was it was rough to say the least. It was definitely rough to say the least. So now what we'll do is we'll throw a bunch of these in here. Mix them up all with that egg and milk. No, don't eat me. Alright. Kind of bread them up there. Kind of want to get the axis stuff off of it. If not, it just ruins your breading. So, just kind of spin it around there pretty good. There's a bunch of different ways. Um, another way I like to, to bread it sometimes is the same way I crush those chips in that Ziploc. What I'll do is dip them all in the egg, then throw all those pieces, these pieces, in the Ziploc, shake that, shake that Ziploc, and it'll bread everything all together. So there's a bunch of different ways. Usually I do that like when we're gonna catch a fish and do fry it on the boat immediately. I'll take a Ziploc and then do it that way um, but either way is good I, I, the ziplock to me I think sometimes is a little bit better it 
does it quicker and it doesn't ruin all the breading at one time like by the time we're done with this probably a quarter quarter of this breading will just be too soaked to even use so we'll have to end up adding more but I think we can get away with what we got here so we will bring it back here after it's done and cooked we'll show you guys the finito product and hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of what we're doing and enjoyed eating some fish wish you guys were eating fish with us and we will get back to you with the finished product thanks for watching Mahi. You can definitely tell how that milk helps that breading stick. Because when I used to do it without milk, I just couldn't get that breading to stick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, let's get them others in there.